Now with all the sports out there to choose from, sometimes you need to be just a little bit different, all in aid to attract new members. So with the rise in popularity of American sports such as baseball and American football, one team from Chichester held a rookie night to give new players a taste of softball. So I was sent along to try out. Most of us will have heard about baseball, an American game some say is similar to rounders, albeit with a bigger bat, but some might not be so familiar with softball. And so in a park in Chichester, a team called the Falcons held a practice for rookies. So I went along to find out more and maybe have a go myself. It's an opportunity for uh, new players to come along and get involved, to kind of work out what the sport is all about. Um, and we really, really want to get loads more people involved so that we can grow the club, grow the team, because there's going to be plenty of opportunities for um, people to join in games. I think part of the rookies team is we've had people who've come along, it's been a little bit kind of rabbit in the headlights, whereas it's nice here that we've got 20, 25 people who are all brand new to it. So they're all at the same stage of, you know, thinking, what the hell is this weird giant glove on my wrong hand? Um, and hopefully enjoying it. Yeah, the guys play with a ball that's about the size of a grapefruit um, and the girls play with a slightly smaller ball. So it's not soft. Different. Everyone thinks the soft ball is soft, but it's not. It's, it's hard. It, hard. If it hits you <laughs> on the face or on the leg, it's going to hurt. Um, but it is very similar to baseball in setup, but it's an underarm toss is what we play. It's called slow pitch. So it just slows the game down a little bit, makes it easier to hit. Whereas a lot of times you watch baseball, it's just, it's all about the pitcher. Whereas softball is more about actually being able to hit it, hit it hard get some running around some bases and get some fielding there. Dave and James have been running the club for a couple of years. Um, it seemed quite a nice recreational kind of fun feel. It wasn't too hardcore. I wouldn't want to just turn up to the rugby team and try something I'd never tried before. Whereas softball, it seemed like they were quite open for everybody to come along, give it a try and see if you enjoyed it. I wanted to be in a team. I found it difficult because there are a lot of existing teams out there and I couldn't quite find a spot and I met James, our coach, and he was in the same position as me. So we thought the best thing to do is start our own team. A lot of people think it's short tennis, you know, the sponge tennis game. So it's, it's difficult to get that initial message across as to what the game is until they come. And when they do come, they understand it immediately. They've seen baseball on TV and movies and they can relate to it very quickly from that. Unlike some sports, this one is co-ed, meaning that girls and guys can play on the same team. There are teams that play just, just guys and just girls. In America, it's quite big like through college and university all the girls play yeah i think it is one of the only sports particularly that is accessible that is boys and girls um, it's going to be in the olympics in 2020 but what they're doing just to confuse things a little bit is the boys play baseball and the girls play softball so i'm new to the area so i'm looking to meet new people and to try new sports and i used to love rounders when i was a kid is it harder than it looks absolutely way more difficult than it looks yeah and it hurts like a lot like they're heavier than they look the balls are harder than it looks and yeah it hurts your hands a lot the gloves are definitely necessary it's great fun everyone's been really lovely and it's a good group of people coming to try it out and this american sport is starting to make tracks here in the uk with the falcons taking part in both national and international tournaments so I represented chichester over in holland um, and the first time we went we got absolutely destroyed by giant bulky marines from america who were just hitting out the park every time and then we went again and we did a little bit better we've developed it into a juniors team for 11 to 16 year olds one of those who i think picked up a glove for the first time 18 months ago is now in the gb under 19 squad and that was all because he just saw this little team in Chichester playing on Oakland's Park and decided to come along and give it a go. And there was at least one rookie that definitely won't be making the GB squad. This is Richard Stringer for That Solent.